Hi there, my name is Kevin Wells from the Jabber Jabber podcast and today I will be reviewing the Senko D2 shotgun mic. Along with our weekly show, the guys at Jabber Jabber podcast, myself, J Mac and Seb, love to travel the UK and cover conventions and all different kinds of live events. One thing that we find crucial to the projects that we put out is audio. So let's have a look at the D2. So the Senko comes in a really nice, easy to carry case. And let's have a wee look at that. There we go, look at that extra padding. Extra padding there to make sure there's no breaks when you hit the humps and bumps when you're traveling. Um, what can I say? <laughs> it's, it's safe. Um, I do believe this is water resistant, so let's find out. So water resistant, we shall find out. Well, it's more water resistant than I am. <laughs> Let's have a look. Would you look at that, bone dry. So it's safe to say that this is gonna be able to be used in all weather conditions. So this microphone actually has 130 decibels, which is the exact same as the Sennheiser. However, you don't need to remortgage your house because this will only cost you 200 bucks. With a brass body and a gold finish, you will require a phantom source of power to get this guy working. Weighing only 165 grams, the dynamic range on this piece is 106 decibels. So you really can't ask for any more than that. What you're looking at here with the Synco Mic D2 is quality. I mean, just the weight. I mean, it's very easy to carry around. As you saw before, the case itself, you know, it's waterproof. It protects your microphone and it's easy to carry. With us being podcasters, you know, we know a really cheap mic uh, from something that's made of real quality. And this just really jumps out at us. You don't have to spend all the big bucks. You can really you know, spend about 200 bucks and never have to worry about your quality, how it's going to sound and just all round the absolute quality and all that looks amazing as well. So we're going to switch to this microphone now and let's see what the difference. E2 here to the Phantom Power Source and I'm just going to give you an example here as to how good this will be in the interview kind of atmosphere, whether it be a sports person or whoever else you're interviewing to cancel out the, the background noise and get exactly what you want on your audio. So, Seb. My good cameraman, tell me, how many bodybuilding championships have you won? Mate, it's just too many championships I've been on, so we can take talk about this then now. Now, did you hear how clear my cameraman Seb came through there? And I was still talking, but you really couldn't hear me. So whatever the project or the occasion, if you, if you need audio... I would highly recommend the, the D2. I mean, if you're just podcasting, if you're podcasting on the go, as you can clearly see here, you can still hear my voice no matter the direction. That's it's a really good condenser mic. Um, whenever you're using the condenser mic, the D2, you really should, you should consider that you can take it anywhere. If you want to sit at home, do a podcast, you want to take it out, you got an interview that you need to get, you need to find someone, meet them in a hotel, or you go do what we do, you go to a convention and it's loud, really loud, and you need to speak to someone like Christopher Lloyd, Jean-Claude Van Damme, or even the Night King for Game of Thrones, you need to make sure that you've got yourself a D2. As you can see, I'm sitting at the other end of the room from the Cinco, and you can still hear me very, very clearly. I mean, this is going to work in any kind of atmosphere that you need. Um, so when it comes to buying a new microphone, payday comes around and you need something that's affordable and works just as well as your big top brands, stuff like Sennheiser, really I would recommend spending 200 bucks and get the single D2 that does just the same job, if not even better.